Every challenge and setback is preparing you for a moment that hasn't happened yet. There was a time where I thought it was all done and dusted. I was written off by everyone. I was told my career could almost, almost be over, but then I was told my season was over. Not only did I sort of prove people wrong in that sense, I learnt that I had to focus on what I could control. And by me able to redefining the process through each setback and the lessons I've learned, that allowed me to do that. The value of adversity is something that you can apply to your everyday life, whether it's a big setback or small challenge. How can you be resilient if you don't go through adversity? If you can identify it really quickly, go hang on. Check yourself, fix mindset voice, and adapt with a growth mindset. Do what you've always done, you'll get what you've always got. I'm always trying to find ways to improve myself, you know, little tools and strategies that can help overcome you know, the challenges you face or help you become the best version of yourself. Putting things into perspective and looking at what do I have, not what don't I have, is really important to, again, being present in the moment, not thinking about all those outside influences and the challenges and setbacks you're going through. Just listening to Chris's experience today, particularly through his own individual injuries, adversities, I think the guys, as well as myself, you know, can really start to put into practice what he taught us as to how to manage it in a timely manner. Inevitably, like sport and business, that salespeople are going to go in and out of in and out of form, and they're going to have good months and bad months. I think it gives them a mechanism for a way to cope, so that they can minimise the lulls and maximise the highs. It doesn't matter how big or small the setback is, if you can find the positive message in that and you give meaning to that, it allows you to say, "Okay, well, this is going to help shape me to be a better person and allow me to grow."